Hey guys, it's me, Carrie. I hope this overhead light is actually giving good light and not making things too glary or weird. But it's gray and rainy here in New York, so I figured a little extra light couldn't hurt. I had a request to review the Lip Smacker, the newest ones, the um, Halloween Tsum Tsums. And I'm going to do, just in this video, the ones that I think are specifically Halloween related, which is Mini in Sour Tricky Treat and Mickey in Spooky Ookie S'mores. Let me hold them up close so you can get a good look. First impressions, they're absolutely adorable. I'm going to get them right out of the packaging so you can get a look at them up close, but I want to do to see them in the packaging first. I'm so stoked for Spooky Ookie S'mores. You have no idea. I really hope that the scent and flavor will be really strong and really accurate. But I want to show you something before I even show you the Tsum Tsums up close, guys. Oh, I should have checked the bottom to make sure they're the right ones. If you watched my Star Wars Tsum Tsums video a while back, I actually got one that was the wrong flavor in the wrong lid. So that was fun. But yes, yeah, Sour Tricky Treat, Spooky Ookie S'more. Good, good, good. Before I even show you these guys, I want to show you something I just discovered. I never generally pay much attention to the little pictures at the top. But this is the Spooky Ookie S'more, and you can see, hopefully in this blurriness, that there are actually a stack, there is actually a stack of s'mores, which, if you are not familiar, are, is a delicious concoction of graham crackers, melted marshmallows, and melted chocolate. They're so good. But, guys, you may not know what Sour Tricky Treat flavor is. However, they give you a big, ginormous hint, because if you look at the photo, there is not only a lemon, but a lemon lollipop. So, I'm wondering now, I want to go back and, oh, I wish I still had my packaging from my Elsa, because my Elsa was Icy Snow Queen flavor, and I was like, what the heck could that possibly be? And I'm wondering if I went back and looked at the image in the corner, if there was actually a clue, because, I mean, spooky, what is this again? Sour Tricky Treat really could have been anything, but yeah, guys, it's going to be lemon, so just a heads up. Okay, now let's look at how cute these are. This Mickey is so stinking adorable with his fangs. I love him. And there's his little outfit. He's got spider webs, and there's his little tail. Oh my gosh, I just love him. And I love that he's got little white hands and little black feet. He's just super, super, super cute. And then Minnie in her little Halloween outfit. She's not a particular character. She's just dressed in Halloween colors, black and orange, with her little polka dotted bow and her little rosy cheeks. And she's got some purple and white accents and her little white kind of petticoat and little polka dots on her orange dress. And she's just got little orange feet and little white hands. So anyway, let's check them out for scent first, because I'm really super excited for s'mores. I'm going to say that one for a second. Sour Tricky Treat. Again, now that I've seen that there was lemons, I'm expecting this to be yellow. Let's see. It is indeed. That is the color. And it's very matte looking. I don't know if it's showing that way on camera, but it's very, very matte looking. Not at all shiny. I'm going to give it a sniff before I even swatch it. Mm, okay. This is interesting, guys, because it does not smell like strictly lemon. It smells almost more like a lemon meringue or like a lemon custard. Mmm. It's, I don't know. if it's. It doesn't smell like as tart as like a lemonade or something. It smells like, it really just smells to me like a lemon meringue pie or something. It's got like that sweetness to it. Let me try and see if it has a flavor. I'm hoping so. I don't think there's been a Tsum Tsum lip smacker yet that hasn't had a flavor. I'm putting on a ton. Why not? Mmm. Lemon meringue pie. It's exactly what it tastes like to me. It tastes so delicious. I really, really, really like it. And it's not, strangely, even though it's called sour... I keep forgetting. Sour Tricky Treat, it's not at all sour to me. It's very sweet lemon, but I really like this. I'm so excited because I really didn't know what to expect. I didn't look when I bought it in the store at the little picture in the corner, but just for the future, it's a good idea to take a peek at that, guys. And 
you might get a serious hint or a total giveaway as to what the scent and flavor will be like. And as expected, I kind of figured this would be like a, you know, light chocolatey color. Or actually, it's, I guess, kind of a dark graham cracker color now that I'm thinking about it. Let's see. Mmm. Smells really good. I just want to swatch it to see if I can get all the layers of flavor. If I can get chocolate, marshmallow, and graham out of this. Okay, I'm going to swatch on my other hand because I'm still getting the lemon. So let me try that. And see. I honestly feel like I am. I feel like I'm getting all three scents in there. It does smell like a s'more, which is amazing. I'm so stoked. I don't know why I'm surprised, because Lip Smacker does a fabulous job with the flavors and the scents on their Tsum Tsums, but I'm always excited to try new ones. And yeah, once you swatch it, then it gets really shiny. Mmm, it does have taste too, yay! I'm so, so, so happy with these guys. I recommend them very, very highly. Now, just an FYI, I know not everybody has a Harmon store, and I know not everybody probably has a Bed Bath & Beyond either, but I don't know why I'm playing with my hair either. Sorry, guys. It's like my nervous habit, but um, if you can find these, I know people, actually, I don't know. I'm pretty sure people are finding these as well as the three Villainesses, which are, I have them off to the side here, Maleficent, Cruella, and Ursula, which I'm going to do in a separate video. But those are the five that came out at once, those three and these two. I know some people are finding them at Walgreens, but if you do have a Harmon or a Bed Bath & Beyond in your area, definitely try to find them there because these do retail for about $5. But if you purchase them at Bed Bath & Beyond or Harmon, Harmon is a part of the same parent company as Bed Bath & Beyond, so they accept Bed Bath & Beyond coupons. If you buy them, if, if you buy at least four, because I think they're technically $4.99 there. You can use a $5 off a $15 purchase Bed Bath & Beyond coupon and save yourself a good chunk of money. And you can also use 20% off entire purchase coupons. So you're better off, I think, if you were to do, or 20% off one item. What I would do to stack the coupons, if you get them at Bed Bath & Beyond or Harmon, buy the four, use the $5 off, the because it would come to a total of $19.96, and then use a 20% off wine item for the other one, and then that'll save you an additional, what, five, five bucks a piece, so it'll save you like an additional dollar. So, I mean, really, why not? Get yourself basically $6 off the five. You can't go wrong with that, right? But anyway, that is only for those of you I know who have a Harmon or a Bed Bath & Beyond, and I know lots of you don't. I'm so, so sorry. I wish they were national. I wish they were global. That's generally the first place I look when I hear of new lip smackers coming out because of the couponing thing. But anyway, guys, even if you have to pay full price of $5 for these, I still highly recommend them. I think the scents are great. The flavors are great. These, I believe, I don't think they're marked as limited edition, but I would imagine because they are specifically Halloween, they probably are. I've noticed that on the displays where these five are, they also are including Jack and Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. Now, those were from last year, so those obviously were not limited edition, I speak well. But, like, they were had a Valentine's Day set of two, Mickey and Minnie, and those were limited edition, and I don't believe you can find those anywhere now except the secondary market. So I would say these two, for sure, pick them up sooner rather than later. I don't know if the evil queens are going to, you know, evil villainesses, because Corella's not a queen, but, um... I don't know if they're going to go away at all, but these I would def definitely recommend buying sooner rather than later. I think they're really, really worth it if you are a Tsum Tsum collector, if you are a Lip Smacker collector. If you collect both, certainly like I do, you are going to want these in your collection. They're absolutely adorable. There's a look at them again from the back and the sides. And let, ooh, let me try stacking them. Because I've noticed generally when you get these pairs, they stack one way and not the other. Yeah, see, this is not stacking at all. They're not fitting together. So hopefully Minnie on top of Mickey will stack and lock into place. Wow. Okay, let's see. Okay, that's awesome. They're not... 
Okay, there we go. It, that did stack that way. So I don't know if this will be the same for everybody. Sometimes it's not, but I recommend Mini on top of Mickey if you want to get a good secure stack that's holding really well. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I wanted to get this out there as soon as possible while these are fresh on the market and you have the opportunity to hopefully find them in your area. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to be back in just a minute because I really want to review those other three now. But I hope you enjoyed this and I'll be back soon with more stuff. And as always, well not as always, fortunately we don't always have these situations, but thoughts and prayers and good vibes and all good things are going out to my friends in all the affected areas of the wildfires, of the hurricanes, of you know everyone in Florida, everyone in Texas still in you know, recovering from Harvey, everyone on the west coast of the United States dealing with wildfires and brush fires right now. I'm, I, you're all in my thoughts and prayers and concerns, and I'm sending all good things your way, guys. Please stay safe. I love you so much, and I'll be back soon with more stuff. Bye, guys.